in this lab, we're going to learn how to build a single server queuing model in Simeo. As for the objectives of the lab, we first introduced the Simeo user interface and its different components. And then we will start building our model in Simeo. And after that, in order to make sure that our model is correct, we perform basic verification analysis. Once we know that um, our model is right, we run experiments and then we will talk about uh, the Simeo pivot grid and how we can interpret the results of our simulation uh, experiment. And finally, we will also talk about uh, different resources that we can use to add customized animation features to our model. So the system that we're modeling in this lab is a hot dog store and uh, it has only one server, so it's a single server queuing system. So customers arrive at the store, they walk to the queue, um, they wait in the queue if there is any line, and then whenever the server becomes available, customers place their order, they wait until their hot dog is ready, they get their food, and they leave the system. So uh, we're given some data about the operation of this system. As you can see here, the arrival rate is 20 customers per hour. Uh, service times are triangularly distributed with a minimum of one minute, a maximum of four minutes, and a likely, most likely value um, of 2.5 minutes. Um, the queue rule is first in, first out, and um, customer's walking speed is one meter per second. And um, our system operates from 10 a.m to 10 p.m., basically 12 hours um, per day. And the performance measures that we're interested in are server utilization, average and maximum expected number in system, and average and maximum um, expected time in system for our customers. You can see uh, a complete description of the system and uh, the steps that we're going to take in the videos in the lab document that is available to you. Uh, one last thing that I would like to mention is that uh, as the lab document uh, mentions, we would like to base our analysis on 200 replications of the model. So before we start building the model, um, I would like to talk about uh, Simeo user interface. So as you can see, Simeo uh, has uh, the same standard uh, ribbon-based uh, user interface. So we can see different ribbons here on the top. So we have the project home uh, and the components that are related to our project. So we can add models for our project or add experiments. Um, we can also configure our, um, the parameters that are related to our run configuration here. And there are other tabs that uh, we will talk about um, as we uh, build other models in Simeo um, in the next labs. But uh, one of the things that I would like to talk about here is a support ribbon, which provides very useful resources to um, new users. So in the support ribbon, you will see that uh, you can have access to sample SimBit solutions. So SimBits are very small or basic simulation models that are available to you to show you how you can um, implement different logics in Simeo. So if you click on sample SimBits here, um, you can search for the terms that are related to the logic you're trying to add to your model. So let's say you would like to add uh, server failures. So you can simply type failures here and you can see all the symbols that are related to um, adding different types of failures to your, um, to your model components. There are also complete simulation models that you can look at and uh, get an idea of what kind of models you can build with Simio. And these are available to you in the examples. And you can also see a list of helpful books and other helpful resources 
like uh, videos, training, and um, user forum where you can post questions and hopefully get answered to your questions in, in the support um, ribbon. So what I'd like to do now is to go back to our model and talk about the other components of the main uh, user interface. So as you can see on the left hand side, we have the standard library and the objects that are uh, in it. So we can hover the mouse in uh, any of these object definitions and you can read a short description of each object. So for example, the source object uh, may be used to generate entities and, and so on. There is also the navigation window on the right hand side and you can select different components of your of your project in the navigation window. So let's say right now I have the model selected and here I can see the processes, definitions, data and um, other components that are related to my model. Now if I go ahead and select model entity then what I see it is definitions and data and other components that are related to my model entity. So it is really important to make sure that you have the right component of your project or your model selected uh, before modifying or adding uh, components to your, to your simulation model. So now that we are familiar with the Simio user interface, we can go ahead and start building our first model. So for this model and most um, of the basic simulation models, uh, we can simply use the objects uh, in the standard library. So these objects are uh, general objects that are applicable to most simulation models. So for this model, we need a source object um, to generate our entities and a server object, which is basically our hot dog preparation step. And finally, we need a sync object to destroy the entities that leave the system. The next thing that we need to do in our model is to connect these up. So for that, we have multiple options here in Simio. Um, connectors uh, are different from path objects um, in the sense that the transfer time um, when you use a connector is basically zero. So entities are transferred from uh, the starting point to the ending, uh, end point of a connector in zero simulation time. So for the sake of this model, model because I want you to be able to see the flow of entities um, in the model, um, I'm going to use a, a path object. So I'm going to uh, click on the path object and then connect the output node of my source object to the input node of my server object. And I'm going to do the same thing to connect my um, output node of the server object to the input node of my sync object. Now, uh, one last thing that I want to add to, uh, or one last object that I want to add to my model is uh, the model entity. So I'm going to add an instance of the model entity definition to, to my model. And I'm going to um, rename it and call it customer. So now I can uh, click run and as you can see um, uh, the model is running so entities arrive, they wait in the queue if there is any line and then they get processed and leave the system. And um, you can also click on individual objects in the model and see its uh, different properties in, um, on the right hand side. So for example, when I click on the source object, I can see that this source object creates entities of type customers and then the arrival mode is inter-arrival time and the inter-arrival time is random and exponentially distributed with mean uh, 0.25 minutes. So those are the default properties of the source object. You can also look at the properties of the server object. Uh, let me expand this a little bit. Um, and as you can see for the server object the capacity is 1 and the processing time is triangularly distributed with uh, 0 0.1, 0 0.2 and 0 0.3 minutes. So um, 
so now that we know that everything is connected in our model we can go ahead and um, input our parameters